Whew, I'm all out of breath. Now this door, because it's an eight foot tall door, it's gonna be a little difficult for me. And I've got my, I've got my little ladder there, my step stool, because I can't, normally I'll, I'll stick it up there. I'll just try to put the first hinge pin in. I can't get the top hinge pin, can I? I'm not tall enough. I could, I could get this one and just start this one, but I, I usually try to tall the highest one first. Okay, so I'm gonna smuggle this into place. And I lift up here. I'm gonna have to get it up there, and then I can get my uh, stool into place here. And I can do that because the door's not that heavy. Now, I try to get the top one. Some guys, it cracks me up, I've seen them, where they install the bottom one first. Now see, this one's trickier only because it's up higher than I'm used to on a six foot eight door. I gotta come up here and try to, only am concerned about this top hinge. I only want it, I only want it to come down however far I can push it down, that's it. Okay, now I can do the rest down off the ground. Now I can push this, I can lift this, and get it into place, and I'm concentrating on this next hinge. I get that lined up, and I just want the pin, I don't want the pin to go down too far. If I start tapping that pin down now, I could possibly bend the hinge pin before I have my other hinges in place. Does that make sense? Okay, so, at this point, now I'm just working on the next one. And that's not exactly right, so I'm just going to pull the door out, line it up. My fingers are pushing in. I've only pushed it down about uh, three quarters of an inch, so it goes through from the first one down into the next one. I could lift, jerk on it a little bit, wiggle it, but now I've pushed it down. i push it down about an inch. That's all I want. I don't want to bang it down there now, okay? Now, now I can get down there on the bottom. And I can line that up, pull this in place, pull it over, whatever I gotta do. And get that one in there. Okay? Now, now I can take my uh, my hammer, tap, tap, tap. You don't want to tap too much. And so I used to have a wood hammer, and I'll just take the hammer handle and go quack, 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 like that. This is a rubber one, I don't want the black rubber on here. I'm gonna tap these. A little bit. If you're feeling comfortable with that, you want to get it down there a little bit more. You could use your trick with the uh, the wire cutters. Put that on there and use that and, and hit it down with that. If you, want. you know, or use half and half in case you're afraid to get too close to there. Once you get it almost all the way down, now you can just tap it. Just just a couple. And don't try to whack it because you can start marking up your paint and stuff. Just tap it. Okay. Now, now we'll just keep working on the next two. And when the painters come here, I know they're not going to take these doors off because they're going to paint them in place. If they weren't going to take them off, I could take the hinge pin down almost all the way and leave a little bit up so that all they have to do is take a screwdriver. And so, I could do it that way. And see, that's kind, of, that's kind of close to the door, so if you feel more comfortable, take your, take your wire cutters that I showed you how to remove the pins, and I can just put it in the upside down, grab it like that right up at the top, underneath the top of the head. You know what I mean? Okay. Just grab it, pressure on it at an angle, and now you can use, you can use part of the, of the top of the wire cutters to get on in case you feel uncomfortable getting too close. Once it gets down to there, obviously, you're going to have to do the rest. hand. And like I said, if you have a wood hammer, you 
You might even be able to use a hammer handle. I used to do that, just whack down there. But, you know, that could mar up the, uh, the paint on your door too, okay? I believe I'm done with this door. Remember all the things we did to that door, okay? So, now I got this nice and tight. Everything's nice and tight. These screws are in there, they're flattened down. It does, you can't even tell, can you? Of all that effort that I put into this door to fix it, you can't really tell much. Oh, that one's a little bit off. I could whack that again. And the strike plate, reaming out the strike plate, adjusting the strike plate tab, adjusting the door so I've got more, more gap down at the bottom. I got a little less gap at the top. I got more to gap in the middle. That lowered this latch down so I didn't have to ream this strike plate out as much. I mean, I've done a lot on this door. I've tightened up the, uh, the door bumper. I call that a door bumper. And that's what you call them, a wall bumper, a door bumper, that's what I call them. Okay, this is good to go. It doesn't even look like I even touched this door, does it? Okay, onward to the next one. And I'm going to do the same type of thing. I just installed those screws. I'm going to come back over here. Well, I'm going to start working on these doors. I got, I've got a few over here now. See, even this, even this straight one, there's no way I can get the drill in there enough before I hit the edge of this door edge. So, I've got that one up there. I've got this one. I've got a couple down at the bottom, one at the bottom, I think. And so, this door too, yeah. Well, I'm going to pull it off the hinges. Well, off the door frame, just like I just showed you, okay? i got to do that to these other doors too in here. So I think that's all I'm going to show you on this particular video. I want to keep watching more videos. I'm going to do I'm going to do the probably these three doors on one video just so people can see in real time how long it's going to take to do those all in one go, okay? All right. Have fun with your door projects and save some money.